Welcome back. If you were with us last week, I taught you my mom's secret enchilada sauce. This week, I'm gonna take this same sauce and make the best en chicken enchiladas you ever had. So stay tuned. <laughs> The ingredients for today's recipes are as follows. Grilled chicken thighs have been sliced, a little green scallions have also been sliced. Mexican melting cheese, chihuahua will be fine for this recipe. Of course, mama's famous enchilada sauce. And three corn tortillas. So the first thing we're gonna do is warm up our tortillas on the stove. What I'm looking for is just to warm them up just so take the cold off of them which will make them more pliable when I roll them. I don't want them too cooked where it's crunchy. If it's crunchy it's not going to roll good and it will also break. So I'm just cooking them on top of my comal. If you don't know what a comal is ask your grandma or ask someone else but basically it's just a Mexican skillet that you use to heat up tortillas on. Any household you go to that has traditional Mexican always has a comal. So I'm just flipping them over as you can tell a little bit at a time making sure they don't get really toasty. I don't want them to puff up neither. I'm just looking to make them pliable. So as soon as I touch them, I can see that they're starting to almost get there. Like right now, they're almost ready. If you're afraid to touch it with your hand, you can use a fork or uh, tongs also. At this point, they're done. So I'm gonna pull them off, put them on my plate, and we're gonna move on to the next step. So over here, next step is our assembly line. So it goes tortillas, sauce, skillet pan, chicken, condiments, cheese. So first thing I'm gonna do is spray my skillet pan, that way I don't want it to stick. So all I'm gonna do is grab a tortilla, put it in my sauce, make sure it gets nice and wet. Nice, be careful. Put it here, grab some of my chicken. Now I'm gonna fold it to make a taco. Just roll in it. I'm gonna push it off to the side. I'm gonna do the same thing for all three tortillas. This is how you can make sure they stay nice and moist. That every tortilla is coated nicely with enchilada sauce. So again, add the chicken. And then roll it. One more. As you can tell, it's not the cleanest thing to do. But it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to taste good. Not supposed to be super clean about it. Now the reason I use chicken thighs is because they're a little bit more moist. And the reason I didn't steam them and I rather grilled them, chilled them off and sliced them is because it adds that smoky taste to it. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna put my cheese on top. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want. You just want enough to get on top of it. I'm gonna put some of my green onions, make it look pretty. I already have my oven set to 450. I'm gonna throw these in for about six minutes. Very carefully, we're gonna grab a spatula, slide it underneath, put them on our plate. You might think they're done at this point, but of course, we gotta do a little bit of making it look even prettier than that. So we're gonna grab some of the other enchilada sauce, run it around, just like that. And grab some baby arugula, put it right in the center. We're gonna grab some cilantro leaves and just lay them around. This is just all, of course, to add a little bit of color to make your plate look a little bit more vibrant. And it also does give it a little bit of flavor. Next, we're gonna take some cotija cheese 
and grate around top. So there you go. You see how easy it was taking that simple enchilada sauce and making something even more amazing with it. I hope you like this recipe. It's really close to my heart. It's my mom's recipe. It's been with us since she was a kid. So this is what, if you're looking at enchiladas, this is Durango style enchiladas. Now I, I did spice it up a little bit by adding different stuff on top, of course, like baby arugula and all that stuff. You wouldn't find that over there. But it's also, you know, the classic recipe with a little bit of twist, making it a little bit more upscale. So. I hope you like it. I know I do. So till next week, love you guys.